You're gonna have more days you don't wanna do something than you are gonna want to. Most days, you're not gonna be pumped up. Most days, you're gonna feel weak. Most days, you're gonna wanna stay in bed. Most days, you're gonna feel like most people do. But if you do what most people do, which is give yourself reasons to not get the tasks done, not get to work, not get out of bed, you're gonna end up like most people, barely getting by, being unhappy with their lives. You gotta make a different decision. You gotta decide enough is enough. You've had enough of being average and ordinary. You're tired of being mediocre. You're now gonna push yourself. It's gonna feel better when it's over. You know that when you get done doing the hard thing, it's gonna feel better. Waking up, working out, taking care of some tedious task, you know you will feel better when it is done. You also know that if you don't do the hard thing, the thing that you don't want to do, that you don't feel like doing, you know if you don't do it, you're going to feel inferior. You know you're going to feel weak. And that feeling, that horrible feeling, you know that feeling too. You know it. You know it's true. Those are the two outcomes. One will cause you some short-term gratification. You'll get to sleep a little bit more. You won't have to put out during a workout. You don't have to do this tedious task. You'll get some short-term gratification, but the long-term regret will be strong, and it will inflict pain on you. Successful people do one thing more than others. Make movement. They get it done. While most people are slacking off, relaxing, wasting their time, the winners in the world are putting in work. Studying their craft, practicing, running drills on how to perform better, putting in all those extra hours when everyone's already gone home. And of course you'll get tired, you'll get worn out, you'll feel exhausted and lazy and not want to work, and you'll have some really, really rough days. But when that happens, you gotta tell yourself, I will not stop. I don't care what I have to go through. I'm gonna get this done, no matter what. You do what you know you need to do to move forward. And when you do that thing, you know you're gonna feel strong, and you're gonna feel gratified, and you're gonna feel worthy of this life. That's how you're gonna feel when you do what you're supposed to do. Remember that. Remember that the pain right now will absolutely pay off in the future. And the capitulation and the conceding defeat to weakness, that will absolutely result in the pain of regret and remorse later. You know this to be true, so don't allow it. Remember the feeling of victory that comes from doing the right thing, the hard thing. Remember that feeling and then go get it done. The work comes before the belief. You're gonna have to do some work and you're gonna have to keep doing it consistently even when you're not seeing the results, even when you feel like giving up. And eventually, results will begin to sprout as you do this. And when that happens, you're gonna build faith, build belief in what it is you're doing. You start to realize, hey, I can really do this. This is actually working. And as you work more, more success sprouts. You're going to start to create something. You have no motivation, you have no drive, you have no ambition, but you're gonna force it to happen anyway because that's what bad do and that's what you are. You're going to go through day by day by day doing the work regardless of how you feel like it. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna see a little bit of a result. And when you see that little bit of result, you're gonna get happy and what's going to happen in your brain is it's going to open up the possibilities for you of what you can actually achieve because now you can clearly see that if I do the work, this result will happen and when this result starts to happen, you get excited and guess what comes with the excitement? The motivation. The inches we need to become dominant in any field of life are all around us. It's in every task, every project, every mission, every day, every second. When you do the small things, how do you do them? Because if you're putting in 120% in those small tasks, I know for sure you're doing it in everything else. It's the people who are willing to do twice as much as anyone else. Those are the people who end up winning. You go the extra mile, you push through the extra round, you do those extra reps. That's what defines if you become first or forgotten.
champions are focused on the goal. They don't have time to be doing stuff that's not going to help them toward the goal. And so what you're focusing on throughout the course of the day, it has to change. What you're looking at, what you're reading, what you're watching, the conversations you have. You've got to be focused entirely on your dreams, entirely on your goals. When you're great, you don't just focus on a week. You don't just focus on a month. You don't just focus on a year. You concentrate on the 24 hours that's in front of you and work as hard as possible to nail it. You dominate in the dark. When nobody sees you, when no one knows what you're doing, those late hours and early mornings where you're working your ass, nothing feels better than giving everything you have to the grind. And a lot of people are confused as to how high drive, high success people can wake up every day and go at it. It's because they know that even if they feel bad, even if they don't feel like doing it, if they push through just a little bit, just a few more days, they're gonna see something that is gonna start to make them feel good. It's gonna give them belief, it's gonna get them motivation, and it's gonna make them feel like doing this is absolutely worth it, and not only worth it, but exciting. So if you're in this phase where it doesn't feel like it's worth it, where it doesn't feel like it's very fun, just remember, if you keep going and you do not let your feelings dictate what your actions will be, the results will always be there. When you get to sit back and unwind after working yourself to the bone for those goals and dreams, you'll feel a sense of pride you might have never felt before. But you only ever get to that point if you get up and get to work. The time of year, we try to make our dreams come true. But the reality of all that is sacrifice. And those dreams quickly become nightmares. But in those nightmares are where our demons lie. That's the domain in which they know we don't want to go into all those early mornings. It wakes up all these things that we failed at. Those demons are in those nightmares. That's what keeps us from accomplishing our dreams. So this year, their back is turned to the doorway. Because they know you ain't going in the nightmare land, but you're going in there. And when the backs are turned, you're going to rear naked choke them us out. Every one of them. That's the mentality you must have and always have. People want to find peace immediately. You're going to find peace from going to war with yourself. Make a declaration to yourself. Declare all out war that you're going to get out of this rut. We are in control of our mind. We believe it's the other way around. No, we put in our minds what we should do. We have to reprogram it and tell us, no, 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 we're good. This sucks, but it's okay. If you don't program yourself, life will program you. In order to begin to reinvent your life, you've got to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort. You really have got to put all of yourself into it. It's very challenging to act, to do those things. There are times when you're looking at it and you say, I know I need to do this, but I don't feel like it. What most of us are looking for is a special feeling of, oh, I feel great this morning. I'm going to get out of bed and get a quick five miles and go to the gym. If you're looking for that feeling, let me tell you one thing, it ain't going to come. You have to learn to do when you don't want to do. Learn to bring that savage mentality out of yourself. The animalistic mode. You think a savage gets up by how he feels or how she feels? They just do it. Learn to be your best self when you're least motivated. Stop looking for a feeling to control what goes on in your life. You should, you should quit quitting. Any path you take to get where you want to be, if that place is worthwhile to go, it's going to be hard. So quit judging your quitting based upon how hard something is. Because every single path that you could possibly take to get somewhere where you want to be is going to be hard. Struggle, pain, misery, frustration, those are signs that you are on the right path and making progress. Nobody that is where you want to be has gotten there without these struggles, without the bleeding, without the pain, without the depression, without the misery. Nobody. And if you want to be something great, you are going to have to learn to accept the struggle as part of the recipe. Every single day you need to look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what am I willing to do to get what I want? And if the answer is, whatever the f I have to, you'll get there in time. You're setting the example every single day of your life. You have to constantly over that machine. The machine is your mind. You gotta keep challenging it every day. The price of regret is much heavier than the price of discipline. 
You never want to wake up one day, one week, one month, one year down the road and go, man, I wish I would have listened to my gut. I wish I would have done this thing. You don't want to live in regret. If there's something you want to get done in work, your relationships, school, whatever it is, do it. Life is one big head game. And once you learn to play that game, it's no longer a game anymore at all. You can start living your life. When you're uncommon, get ready for the criticism. When you're uncommon, get ready for the opposition. When you're uncommon, get ready for the common people not to understand you. When you're uncommon, have uncommon ways. Get ready for people to try and block you and conspire against you. Never allow anybody to make you feel bad about being so blessed when you've worked your off to get it. You decided all the clubs, partying, hanging out, and all that shit. That ain't for me. I'm going to be out here running in the hot sun, practicing, playing basketball, shooting on weekends while everybody else is clubbing and hanging out. You got your focus right. You see me in my Rolls Royce, private planes, rooftop hotel, five, six star lifestyle. I've worked my ass off to have it. And you can keep all your little slick comments to yourself. Because guess what? I don't remember the last time I lost sleep over a hater. Shut the noise out. Embrace the fact that people don't like you. Me to do so much. Develop the interior core where it doesn't matter if people call you crazy. One of the things limiting you from your income, your impact, a world class life. You care too much about what people think about you. Everyone has an opinion. Why let the opinions of other people deny you from a life that will make history? Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go, why you leave. This is a good job. I'm going. They pay you well. I'm going. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me because I've made a different kind of commitment with my life. This is something I have got to do. You've got to focus on you. You've got to convince yourself every day, selling yourself on your ability to perform a job, to achieve a certain objective, telling yourself every day, here I go again, and i got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. Don't allow that inner doubt in you to talk you out of it, to build a case on why you can't have it, to tell you why you're not good enough. You ignore that inner voice and all of the external voices. Don't judge the possibilities for what you can do based upon the circumstances because the circumstances won't determine who you are. Don't determine what you're able to do based upon your resources. Don't determine what's possible for you based upon where your life is right now. Where your life is right now is not you. That's just what it is right now. If you're coming back from adversity and devastation, it's unlimited of what you can do. You are powerful. You direct the power in your life. Whatever your life is right now, it is a duplication of your consciousness. It's a result of how you have decided to use your power. And you've got the power to change that. But you don't know what has happened to me. It really doesn't matter what has happened to you. The only thing that really matters is what are you going to do about it? I can become upset, nervous, weak about it, or I can say it's okay. If it becomes hard, then do it hard. But many must just stop dead in our tracks. I don't know what to do. You do know what to do. You've got genius in you. Challenge yourself. Push yourself. Make yourself come up with something. See, the universe responds to the man or woman that refuses to be denied. Because that is your commitment, that business that you want, that dream that you have of controlling your destiny. That is yours. That's available to you. But you've got to be willing to stand there and face disappointment, not have support. Be lonely. Doubt yourself sometimes. Be rejected again and again and again and refuse to turn around until life gives it up. Nothing can resist a person that has that kind of commitment. There's people in here far superior than me. But there's no one in here who's gonna work harder than me. We get up at 5.30 in the morning, it's pitching rain outside. Our competition's sleeping. I love that. I will not be outworked, period. Where I excel is ridiculous, sickening work ethic. While the other guy's sleeping, I'm working. While the other guy's eating, 
I'm working. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. The commodity, the majority of people who aren't achieving the things that they want is strictly based on hustle. It's strictly based on being outworked. It's strictly based on missing crucial opportunities. You might outwork me for 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, but you ain't gonna beat me over a year. You can't outwork me over two years. I'm gonna get you eventually. I'm a dripping damn faucet. I just keep coming at you. I'm too damn tough to give up. Most people half half their life all the time. I knew they were gonna get tired. They were gonna get down. They quit improving themselves. They start sleeping in. I'm not gonna do that stuff. So I'm gonna get up early. I'm gonna keep getting wide. I'm gonna stay relentless. I might not be the fastest, the strongest, the smartest, none of that crap, but I'll outwork you and I flat out want it more than you. It's relentlessness, man. It's pushing past barriers. It's every time you get somewhere, it's wanting to go to the next level. You guys are entitled to sh What you're entitled to is an opportunity to show up and be your best. Everyone's like, oh, Craig, you're lucky. You got this, Craig, you're lucky. Everything you do is luck. Bullsh! Because before it was luck. It was a belief. And every day with no one watching at 5 in the morning by myself, I trained it because I believed in it. In hopes that one day my trained ability collided with an opportunity to show it off. That's what luck is. That's what success is. Nothing subjective in there. It's all you. You gotta look at how much you're working. You gotta look at how much effort you're making. The intention you're putting out there. You gotta cross the line in life. You gotta go where nobody else wants to go. You gotta work the hours nobody else wants the hours. You have to resolve yourself today that you're going to dominate. That you're not average and ordinary. There has to become a point where you make a decision. We're gonna dominate. We're here to win. We are not here to play. And that takes some intestinal fortitude. I'm where I'm at because I just flat decided I'm going to be a player. I decided at some point I get to choose who I am. The world doesn't tell me who I am. I write these chapters. You don't need the world's permission. You don't need anyone's permission to be great. Only permission you need is from who stares at you back in the mirror every day and a willingness to do the hard work longer, harder, and better than anyone. So what are you going to do? Are you going to buy another success program looking for the secret recipe that doesn't exist? Or are you going to go do something right now and do something that brings you closer to greatness? That's your choice. There comes a moment in all of our lives where we either back down and tell ourselves and others around us that we can't do it. We don't have the skills. We don't have the knowledge. We don't have the money. We don't have the resources and we go back to doing what we've been doing and settle for mediocrity, living below our potential, or there's the other option. You decide within yourself that you are sick and tired of living the way you've been living. You stand up within yourself and make a full commitment. You're gonna fully commit to your dreams, to your goals, to your vision of the future. But I say to you, whatever it is you want to demonstrate in your life experience, it's on you. That as you look out where you want to go, it's on you to decide to move you from there. That a lot of us don't do any more than what we're now doing because we're living within the context of the conversations or the opinions or the expectations that people have of us. And here's what I want to say to you. For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. No one could have convinced me by holding on by continuing to push forward, by continuing to run toward my dream, that one day I can live my dream. And some of you are already there. Well, you don't know how you're gonna make this happen, but you just feel within yourself some way, somehow, I'm going to make it happen. Oh, you're being unrealistic. You're dreaming. Yes, I am dreaming. See, a lot of people have stopped dreaming. Don't you stop dreaming. A lot of people have given up. A lot of people don't even want and ask life for anything because they don't believe they can have it. No, don't allow those negative thoughts to take over your mind. When all hell is breaking loose in your life, you got to tell yourself, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. The fulfillment of your dreams lies within you and you alone. When you understand and accept this, then nothing or no one can deny you greatness. The power to succeed or fail is yours and no one can take that away from you. See, when you acknowledge that, hey, it's me, I'm the one, I've got to do this, 
I'm the one that's going to turn this around. So I got some roadblocks here. It's not easy for me. But ultimately, I know that these roadblocks, these obstacles, this opposition won't stop me from doing what I want to do. It can temporarily cripple me or make it inconvenient. But it won't stop me. It will not determine my reality. And yes, it's going to be hard. Yes, it's going to be rough. Yes, it's going to take every bit of your energy and push you harder than you ever thought possible. But if your reason for doing this is strong enough, you can make it through this. Because I know every single one of you is tougher than whatever problems you face. They're not bigger than you. They're not tougher than you. And as you overcome each and every one of these challenges, you won't be worn down by them. No, they will sharpen you into a stronger, more resilient weapon to take on any mission that stands in your way of victory. I want you to look in the mirror every damn day and say, I am proud of you. I believe in you. You can do anything you want. You are powerful. You say, if it's hard, then I'll do it hard. I won't allow this to stop me. I don't have the option of easy, and I don't think any of us do. Going around trying to find a little dream that doesn't require much responsibility or not too stressful or won't be too much of a hassle. No. All you need to do to get out in the arena of life is to affirm to yourself, I can make it. Every day, every moment you push forward, you're saying to the world and to yourself, it's possible. In spite of rejection, in spite of failure, you keep moving because you know that this moment, this day, could be the turning point. When negative voices try to drag you down, you fight back. You don't just ignore those voices, you confront them. You declare them liars because you know your worth, your capabilities, your resilience. You gotta shut down every voice that says you can't. That's about not just ignoring negativity, but actively rejecting it. It's a conscious decision to not let those toxic thoughts take root in your mind. I need you to talk back to those voices and tell them, you're spewing lies. You're wrong about me. I am stronger than this. I am tougher than this. I will overcome this. Live your life now. Live your dreams now. You got to say yes to your life. Yes. Yes to my dreams. Yes to me. I can make it. It doesn't matter how many failures I've made. It doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. It doesn't matter about my defeats. It doesn't matter about what I've done. As long as I believe and hold the vision firmly in my mind, I can bring it into reality. Sometimes life will happen to you and you won't have time to say no. You won't have time to think that you can't do it. The only time you will have is to act, to take the leap of faith. Trust yourself and know within yourself that everything is going to be all right. If you want to make your dream become reality, the people that are running at their dreams know that it's possible that you can live your dream. That it's necessary that you're relentless, that you have a plan of action, that you are creative. The people that are living their dream of finding winners to attach themselves to. The people that are living their dreams are the people that know that if it's going to happen, it's up to them. The people that are running out to their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one, I'm the one. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. The people that are running out to their dreams are the people that are hungry and they're resolving within themselves. It's not over until I win. Life is going to beat you to the ground. Life will break you just when you think you've been through the most hell you'll ever face it'll hit you even harder and you'll think about quitting every single day I know what it's like to wake up every day with a sense of dread and you don't know how you're gonna make it and you're all alone and you've got to say to yourself when you fail again and again after facing rejection after rejection many times with tears in your eyes it's possible when life knocks you down sometimes you got to take two steps back in order to move forward when you're in that darkness, it's very easy to think you're hopeless. It's very easy to believe it's over for you. It's very easy to feel defeated. It's very easy to sit there and hope that something or someone will come and save you. But the truth is, you gotta save yourself. You can't sit there and wait for the light to come. You've gotta move forward and step your way into the light. That darkness is temporary and you can fight your way out of it. 
it only takes willpower. You think this is it for you? This is far from it. You gotta change your mindset. You gotta start thinking in ways you haven't thought before. You gotta start seeing possibilities for your life you haven't seen before. You can achieve more than you think you can. You're capable of things that would surprise yourself. You've gotta start using your mind to find new ways to break through all these roadblocks in front of you. When you have the will, you'll find a way. And there is always a way. You can get through whatever is in front of you if you decide to. You just gotta stand for what you believe in and don't let anything turn you around. This is your life, this is your dream. Nobody's gonna fight for what you want more than you. If it's gonna happen, it's up to you to make it happen. If you can focus on finding those ways to win and stop focusing on the ways you're losing, you can make it. Everything in your way is just life testing you. Do not fail the test. Rise up and destroy these barriers. The people who win, the most common trait they have is they find solutions, while the losers find problems. The winners are relentlessly working to move their lives into a better state of being. They don't care about the facts. They don't care about the odds. All they do is make a plan and execute the plan. If you change your way of thinking and start seeing the possibilities for you and your current situation, you'll start moving toward victory and away from feeling helpless. But you have got to affirm to yourself that you have what it takes to get through this. Your mind and spirit need to be aligned in the feeling of certainty that I will not stop until I succeed. I will make it happen no matter what it takes, that this is nothing but a temporary inconvenience. There is nothing that can stop me from reaching my dream. Most people won't do that. Most people give up so easily. They never use the real power inside them to do anything great because they can't see those possibilities for their life. Your vision and your perspective of how you see your life is what dictates what you become. If you only ever see yourself as doing just enough to get by, that's all you'll ever achieve. But if you see yourself doing massive things, living beyond what other people could possibly conceive, that's exactly what you'll get. Where your focus goes, your energy flows. So when you're going through turbulence on your path to success, you've got to hold that vision firmly in your mind. Don't allow this negative world to throw you off course. Hold the vision and keep walking toward it. Your mind is your strongest weapon. It has the ability to adapt to any level of pain or difficulty imaginable. It's up to you to harness its power and use it to create new things for you. You can become more creative, more intelligent, more unstoppable. It's only a matter of your mind. You control your mind, you control your life. And when you control your mind, there is nothing out of reach for you. You can be, do, and have whatever you want. The only one who can stop you is you. Some of you have had a marriage fall apart. Some of you have been disappointed in a dream, in a desire, in a goal, in an ambition. And things just haven't worked out the way you wanted them to. And you're starting maybe to feel sometimes a little hopeless. It'll never change. I'll never change. Nothing's ever going to be any different. And we rationalize with ourselves to where we automatically stop. That's why a bunch of us give up so much in life so quickly. But suppose I told you the greatest pain of my life is the reason I'm standing here today. See, sometimes we think the pain is what controls us. It's actually our subconscious mind that if we ever tapped into that, that's what dictates most of our lives. If you don't control pain, it'll control you. What is it that will make it worth it for you? To face the rejections, to brainstorm and not be intimidated and say, I can do this. What is it that will make it worth it for you to raise the bar on yourself and say, I got some more stuff in me. What is it that will make it worth it for you to make know your vitamin that you become empowered? buy it. What is it that will make it for you when you want to give up and things are working against you? What is it that will help you get back up again? When everything is relaxed and peaceful, yes, we know what we want to be. We know the person we want to become, right? It's very easy to calculate it in that rhyme the reason when nothing's on the line. But as soon as the heart starts to race, where the bill and the pressure of the lifestyle, the, the wife, the family, or the job, all of a sudden, oh, we start to settle. 
I don't want to be that person that's great when everything is going all good, but when something goes wrong, they flee and they want nothing to do with it. I want to be that person that's going to show up rain, sleet, or snow, and they're going to give you everything they got. You got to take my life before you take my drive. I'm talking concrete commitment. I'm talking a commitment that says, I am going to stay true to what I said I would do long after the mood that I've set it in has left. Because character is not something we inherit. Character is something we got to wake up every single day, we got to fight and we got to build it. In the midst of adversity, in the midst of challenges, in the midst of failures, we got to get up every single day and we got to fight for peace. We got to fight for happiness. We got to fight for joy. Don't quit. Don't give up. Don't be a victim. Don't take the easy path. Don't squander this life. Instead, live with fortitude. There's times where you think, is there anything that can justify as to why I'm always going through something all? Sometimes nothing ever makes sense that you're going through. I'm going through hurt, I'm going through pain, there's death in my family, there's sickness everywhere. But I tell you what, you can't throw in the time. It just means it's time for you to fight hard. It's time for you to stand tall. Lift your heads to the sky and say, I will overcome this. I will fight back. There's always something good that can come from bad. We live in a world, ladies and gentlemen, where people want instant gratification. They want it right now. No, it's simple, but it's not easy. It's a system that if you work the system, it works if you work it. But make no mistake about it, it's hard. And you are the determining factor. The people that make it in this world look around for the circumstances that they want and if they can't find them, they create them. It's you that you must take personal responsibility to make it happen. It's hard. No easy is not an option. However, ladies and gentlemen, what you will discover is that it's worth it. If people ask you, say, how are you doing? Even if you're having some difficult times, say, I'm blessed and highly favored. Because anytime you wake up and you don't have a white chalk outline around your body, it's a great day. And so I say to you, it's possible you can live your dream if it's becoming a diamond, if it's having more, if it's achieving more, if it's being a better father, being a better mother, whatever it is, it's possible you can live your dream. It's necessary that you have a plan of action, that you're resilient, that you stick to, and you work with the system, that you have the vision and never give up, that you become creative and relentless and keep on coming back again and again and again, and that it's you that you got to take personal responsibility to make it happen, and that it's hard, easy is not an option, and when life knocks you down, jump back up and say, it's not over until I win. It's not about winning or losing. It's about the whole process. And you get so caught up in the outcomes of everything you do that you forget what it's all about. It is practicing. It is eating right. It is training. It is putting in more reps than everyone else. It is grinding longer and getting up earlier than your competitors. Win or lose. You give every single day everything you have. You leave nothing on the table. It is that process that shapes you and forms you into a beast. And why so many of you lose is because you think grinding is what you do when the lights are on and it's game time. You think it's what you do when the sun comes up and everyone's eyes are on you. That's not the real grind. The real grind is what you do when nobody's watching, when nobody sees you, when you're running those extra miles, when you're doing those extra reps, when you're pushing yourself to do more than anybody expects of you. It is that level of effort that forms your greatness. When you can force yourself to do sh that sucks every day of your life, you build mental toughness. When the alarm goes off in the morning, you get you up. When you have a deadline for a project to be done, you make sure you get it done. When you know you gotta study, you start studying. That's how you callous your mind. It's gonna be painful, it's gonna be hard, but at the end of all your suffering is the life you want. Embrace the suffering. No one's coming to help you. It's you against you, period. The water's too cold, the sun's too hot. I'm getting up too early. Why am I doing this to myself? That's what the normal mind says. You gotta start training your mind to think about how the f can get through this. Not giving yourself a way out. Creating a wall around all the f***ing out in your mind. So then your mind knows this is not gonna give himself a way out of here. Your new norm becomes getting up every damn morning at four, five, six o'clock, and you suffer. You allow that to become your new lifestyle. Most people try to get away from that. They want the comfort, but you gotta separate yourself from the pack. 
You have to tell your brain, this is your new life. This is who you are. Your new norm is you wake up and you suffer. When you do this consistently and it becomes your mentality, the shit that used to be hard becomes easy. You must retrain your mind to think differently when you're in hell. When something sucks, good. It's gonna make me tougher. It's gonna strengthen my mind. And it's gonna lead to rare achievements. So bring it. When you get to that point, that's when your mind changes. That's when your focus changes. Your dedication changes. Use the time you have right now to strengthen your brain. Push yourself to do hard sh Come out the other side of that challenge as a beast. You gotta start thinking to yourself, I'm the grittiest mother in the world. And I don't need sh to get this done. All I need is the ability to grind my ass off. Greatness is not something that you have to meet once. It's something that you gotta meet thousands of times in your life. But you don't reach it if you're not continuously in constant pursuit of greatness. Kobe Bryant never sat there and bragged about how many championships he won. No, he was always up at three o'clock in the morning, practicing every day. Why do you think he was so great? It's not just genetics or talent, it's his ability to force himself to execute, no matter what's going on. So right now, this is the time to work. You better take the short time you have now and be the best that you can be. No more waiting, no more procrastinating, no more excuses. We're gonna work! Because when you put in the work, you always get the same consequences. You get paid, you get rewarded. People have this reoccurring nightmare that there's some thing, some force that's got a hold of them and it's holding them down and they can't break free no matter what they do, they can't break free from that force. Well, I'm here to tell you that that thing in your nightmare, that thing that's holding you back, that thing that's dragging you down, that thing is you. There are two fundamental attitudes toward life and its sorrows. Those with the first attitude blame the world. Those with the second ask what they could do differently. It's much easier and much more gratifying to your basest desires to blame someone else for your misery. You know what's so funny? We want people to make guarantees to us, but we're not willing to make guarantees to ourselves. That's the problem with some of you. You always want to blame other people. You owe you an explanation. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? You need to put yourself on punishment. You need to tell you no more TV, no more snacks, no more desserts. No, we working out now. You need to tell you that you owe you something. Every day I demand more from myself than anybody else could humanly expect. I'm not competing with somebody else, I'm competing with what I'm capable of. My number one competition is me. It's always you versus you. You gotta be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success. No coach, no trainer, no mentor, no boss can do it. You versus you. I value myself enough to give 120% or don't do it. There is no excuse for not living up to your fullest potential. No excuse. You walk out of this room, you owe yourself. I didn't get here making excuses. What changed? I changed. And I stopped being a victim. I stopped saying, I've got to wait for good things to happen to me. And I said, I'm going to grind. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to press toward. I'm going to learn. I'm going to do everything in my power, every single day, to become a victor and not a victim. Why? Because I owe it to myself. I can't nobody stop me but me. The biggest enemy you'll ever have to fight against is yourself. You want to change your life? You want to save more money? You want to get in shape? What's the thing that holds you back from doing any of those? It's you. You get in your own way every single time. You gotta get to a point where you're tired of losing. You gotta decide you're not gonna be a loser anymore. You're gonna be a winner. Stop letting yourself down. Stop breaking all these promises you make to yourself about how you're really gonna do it this time. This is the last time I give in to that addiction. If you don't truly mean it, don't bother saying it.
But if you truly do want to change, you've got to decide wholeheartedly that I will not deviate from the plan. I will stick to it no matter what happens. I will execute every day of my life on that goal, on that vision, as if my life depends on it. Stop taking your life so casually. You've got to get serious about making the changes you want to see. Don't leave room in your life for laziness. Don't leave room for slacking off. Don't leave room for sickness. Don't leave room for excuses. Don't leave room for just this one time. No! You've got to have the mindset of a machine. And that machine cares about one thing and one thing only, executing on the goal. If it doesn't support your goals, you cut it out of your life. If you know it will help you achieve the vision, you double down on it. Discipline in your mind every single day is what leads to success. Discipline is what breaks through all the infinite excuses and reasons you come up with on why you can't do it. The more you do those hard tasks you gotta do, facing those hard things and destroying them, executing on the mission, your daily life will get better and better. You have to reach a point where you don't let your bullshit feelings control the outcomes. You get it done whether you want to do the work or not. You don't have time to be in your feelings. The weights won't lift themselves. The work won't complete itself. The books won't study themselves. You have to do it. And you have to do it now. And while you're sitting there thinking, hesitating, debating in your head whether you should go do it or not, you're falling behind. Get your up and get to work. The more you grind, the more you execute on the mission. You will separate yourself further and further from the crowd of average people who would rather spend their time coming up with reasons why they can't get it done today. You don't just work out once, study once, invest once, and change your life overnight. No, you have to be consistent. You have to never let your foot off the gas. Never stop, never quit. You have to do that thing you gotta do every day of your life. You may hate it some days, but you gotta do it relentlessly and know that in the end, it'll all be worth it. The sacrifices you're making today for a better tomorrow are gonna pay off. But if you quit, if you let up, it's not gonna happen. Stay focused and stay on track. Don't let anyone or anything pull you off the plan. You have got to stop rationalizing. Stop making excuses. Stop telling yourself little watered down assessments of where you're really at. Tell yourself the truth. And the truth is that you do have the time. You do have the money. You do have the support. You do have the willpower and the discipline to get it done. And when we're being honest with ourselves, we know that we can all do much more than what we're doing right now. We can all give more to life than what we are right now. So you gotta decide within yourself that you're gonna start working harder than ever. You're gonna start going to work earlier. You're gonna be the last one to leave there. You're gonna try harder than anyone else would even dare to. Other people will think, why would you even bother doing that much? Why do you try so hard? You're doing too much. But they won't understand. Pay no attention to them. They'll never get it because they don't have that mentality. When you're a you keep striving for that highest level possible and you don't stop until you get it. Get in the habit of doing more than what anyone is willing to pay you to do. Because that's where success is born. It's going beyond people's expectations and amazing them. You shock the world with your results. And that work begins right now with no one looking. It's what you do in the shadows, in those early mornings, late nights, where you're grinding away on those tasks and goals. Those moments are what bring it into the light, where all eyes are on you. The price for greatness must be paid every day. And that price is discipline, sweat, suffering, enduring, consistency. And at the end of it all, you win. Most of the time, we don't have someone there to keep us in line, to make us do push-ups and give us a good, swift kick in the ass when we slack off. What we have to do is we have to be our own sergeant to hold the highest standards and allow no slack. 
Your problem is you start something, you stop it. You start something, you stop it. You feel good, you do it. You don't feel good, you quit. People who do stuff consistently and on time, they surpass people who talented and gifted. All men are created equal. Some just work harder. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. It's yours. I don't owe you a dime. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. If you want it to happen, you won't have to do what I do, and that's get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. And you won't have to act like you got all the energy in the world. Why? Because this is my time. This is my moment. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Ain't no such thing as tomorrow. We only got today. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. And that's why most of y'all get beat in the game or make mistakes in the game because you think grinding is what happens when the sun comes out. You think grinding is what happens when the lights come on. You think grinding is what happens when people get in the stage. That's not grind. The real grind is in the dark when nobody sees you. When nobody knows what you're doing. When you studying without coach. When you putting in those extra reps. It's the process that makes you sweet. It has everything to do with what time you wake up. It has everything to do with how you eat. It has everything to do with how you work out, how you prepare. It has every single thing to do with how you think. And if you're gonna be the best, the cream of the crop, you gotta be it, not talk about it. It has to consume you. It has to take over you. That when I see you without even knowing you, I ought to be able to look at you and from your ethos, I ought to see you are the best of the best. I ought to know what you're doing without you saying one word. It ought to illuminate from you. No alarm clock needed. My passion wakes me up. My drive wakes me up. My determination wakes me up. My ability to be, do, and act. Whatever I want, it wakes me up. What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? Is it just a game? Or do you eat it? Do you sleep it? Do you drink it? Have you possessed the game? And what will separate those of you from the rest is what you do. You take advantage of this opportunity. You let everything else go. You eat different. You study different. You practice different. It's one thing to talk about your destiny. It's one thing to dream about your destiny. But it's another thing to wake up when you know you're supposed to wake up. To say no to that party. Saying no to quit when you still got a hundred more shots to make. Saying no when your body said stop. But you put in 50 more push-ups. You can't just talk about it. You got to be about it. Yep, it's tough. It's hard. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy to sacrifice. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy to grind. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy. But I can tell you this. It will be worth the sacrifice if you can grind your way through it. And what is it that makes it worth fighting for? When you're getting trampled by life, when everything is working against you, when anything that could go wrong does go wrong, what makes it worth it to you to keep pushing forward? What keeps you going? And I don't know what you're going through right now, but I need you to remember if you can find a why for living, you can endure almost any how. When you're getting attacked by life, you're going through the worst pain you've ever felt. And you can find those reasons that make you strong enough to keep going. You will find a way through it. You'll shift your inner dialogue from, why does this have to happen to me? I don't deserve this. I can't handle this to good. I'm glad this happened. This is a chance to get better. This is a chance to improve myself and my situation. I can do this. I can handle this. I got what it takes. We all want to be a beast, but do you know what a beast is? A beast is someone who can go through and be grateful that their legs are working. A beast is someone who's lost everything but is grateful for the opportunity to get everything back and get even more. A beast is someone who can hit rock bottom and can say, Roger that. I'm gonna harness this. It is only up from here. I'm gonna come back even stronger.
What most people do is once you get stressed in the process, you don't want it anymore. You give up, you fold, you quit, you're through. But in order to develop, in order to become the best version of yourself, stress is necessary. See, a seed has got to have dirt on top of it in order to grow and develop. Dirt builds character. Dirt gives you the push through factor. Dirt makes you fight through it when you don't feel like fighting anymore. Everybody gets dirt put on them at one point or another. And that's the moment that teaches you to withstand it. It gives you something to push through. So when you feel like giving up, don't. When it looks like you're not gonna make it, keep going. When they tell you you can't, ignore them. When they tell you you're not gonna make it, do not believe them. You gotta become fucking relentless. Never stop, never quit. The most important thing is your passion. You win with your heart, not your head. You win on emotion, not on logic. The most important thing to winning is the power of believing in you. The power of believing that you can win. The power of believing that good things will happen to you. The power of believing that you're special. You must believe that you can. And once you want something and believe that you can get it, you gotta block out all the noise around you that's gonna tell you you can't do it. Don't listen to all that sh Listen to yourself, that voice within you that tells you that it is possible, that there is a way for you to be successful in this business, in this career, in this life. In this situation that you're in, your life is at stake. You are fighting for your life every day. By the way that you live it, the mark that you're gonna leave, the legacy that you're gonna leave, all that is gonna come back to you. That is your life. So don't sit back and be on the defense and allow life to happen to you. Don't do that. Instead, go on the offense, go on the attack, become the aggressor, be the one that life is afraid to mess with. And remember that everybody won't make it to your next level because everybody won't be willing to sacrifice what it takes to create greatness. This is your journey. Struggle is a part of it. Losses are a part of it. Setbacks are a part of it. Sometimes you have to go through your worst just to become your best. Sometimes you have to lose everything just to gain everything. Don't let it discourage you. Let it encourage you. Fail your way to success. Fail your way forward. Failure is only when you stop trying. Failure is just another step in the staircase to go higher. You will never grow without growing pains. The valley might be ugly, but I promise you, the peak is beautiful and it will all be worth it. So don't ever stop climbing because the only way it works is if you work. The only way you progress is if you proceed. So you rise above anything or anyone that's in your way that's trying to prevent you from being great. You know how you get confidence? By attacking your fear. Attacking those hard things you know you gotta face and overcoming them. There's a big misconception out there that people who are successful are not afraid, which is not true. People who are successful are oftentimes the most afraid. They're afraid of failure. So they do everything they can to escape it. So they're gonna run the hardest. They're gonna run the fastest. And they're gonna be the ones who are gonna take every single action that they have to take to make sure they get where they need to be. So I don't want you to wait any longer. Don't worry about the how or what ifs. Make a list, put your back up against the wall and execute on that damn list. Do that every single day and you will be where you wanna be. I guarantee it. The journey is not easy. Everyone's hot off the start, but after a month or so into it, with the wear and tear and the grind starts to hit you, you start losing focus on the horizon, do you not? You get caught away in the daily hiccups, the ups and downs and the wear and tear. And you focus on the speed bumps, the daily activities, losing sight of the true purpose. Most of you won't be successful because when you're studying and you get tired, you quit. Don't cry to give up, cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain, you already hurt, get a reward from it. The difference between a winner and a loser, the failure's there every single time. It's just the winner gets back up and does it again, and does it again, until it goes his way. I don't care how hard you fall. I don't care if nobody don't believe in you. It only takes you believing in yourself to get this thing done. And listen to me, it ain't failure if you learn from it, baby. So if you fall, fall on your back so you can look up. Because if you can look up, then you can get up. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. 
at the end of pain is success. If you can stay in the race, if you can stay in the fight, then you can dictate your own future. I dare you to fail. I dare you to take that same class over and over again. I dare you to stop dropping classes like you soft. See, getting what you want is up to you. You can turn your life around if you change your attitude. You change your attitude, you change your altitude. Your mind and attitude is all you need to be successful. That's all you need. You don't need to be born with a silver spoon in your mouth. You don't need money. You don't even need folk that like you. As long as you believe in you, you got the right mindset, you got the right attitude, we can make it happen. I don't care what's going on around you because it's not what happens around you that determines your success. It's what happens inside you. And you can't control the elements, but you can control your attitude and you can control your mindset. And I'm telling you right now, don't give up. I'm telling you right now, don't give in. Get through it. And so God has allowed you to go off the rough side of the mouth, not so he can hurt you or break you. He trying to redesign me. I'm telling you right now because I care about you. I'm telling you right now because I've been there. I've done that. You've been in it for three years and you about to quit. Ho! Oh, you've been doing it for five years and it don't look like you think. You put all your money in it. You put all your time in it. People are looking at you crazy. Five years you've invested. Ho! Oh, you put too much in it to quit now. Ho! Oh, it doesn't look like you think. You didn't get the grades you thought you were going to get. So maybe I'm not meant to be a lawyer. Ho! Oh, lay hold of it. You lay hold of it. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. You've been through so much hell. You gonna quit now? And when you get to success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it's about stamina. You won't break me. You can't take me. I'm far too long. I'm far too hard. I'm unbreakable now. You get one shot. Opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You better make the kind of decisions that's gonna take you to the NBA. You better make the right decisions that's gonna take you to the NFL. You better make the right decisions that are gonna land you the next best rapper, the next business tycoon. It's one thing to talk about your destiny, but it's another thing to wake up when you know you're supposed to wake up. To write when you don't feel like writing that paper. To say no to that party. Saying no to quitting when you still got a hundred more shots to make. Say no when your body said don't stop, but you put in 50 more push-ups. You can't just talk about it. You gotta be about it. No matter how good you are, no matter how fast you are, no matter how smart you are, no matter how strong you are, there is always someone out there who will be bigger, faster, smarter, or stronger. So what do you do? You can't always control who or what you're up against, but you can always control your effort. You must outwork every single one of those people you're competing with. When you find yourself up against other people and see yourself falling behind, are you the person who gives up and gives in? Are you the person who starts making excuses for why you're not doing as much as you could? Are you the person who finds it a reason to start doing things you're not supposed to? Taking breaks? Slacking off? Sleeping in? Eating like crap? Or are you the one who sees opportunity? The opportunity to get ahead of everyone else. The opportunity to work harder and perform better when it's game time. The opportunity to improve yourself and hold yourself accountable to what you know you can achieve if you really tried your hardest. In the shadows and darkness when most people are still in bed or have gone home already. Where you fight to become the best version of yourself every damn day. It's that process of pushing yourself to perform better. That's what stretches you to reach higher and higher levels. You don't become number one by taking it easy. You become number one by pushing yourself to the outer limits of your capabilities. 
It's these quiet, unseen moments that legends are made. You're not there to participate. You're there to fucking dominate. You gotta refuse to accept that you are what you are and that what your life is like now is what you're doomed to be forever. No, you fight. You scratch and claw every day to improve just a little bit. Weeding out all those weaknesses you have sneaking around in your brain. You weed those out with discipline, forcing yourself to execute on your mission for the day. Doing those hard things you have resistance from doing. And as you shut down those weaknesses, as you continue to prune out all the fickle feelings of laziness, you are literally building mental strength. You become tougher through completion. When you get hard stuff done, it builds your belief in your vision. It builds belief in your company. It builds belief in your ideas. It builds belief in yourself. So while most people are sitting around waiting for change, making all these amazing plans for how to revolutionize their lives and become better, you get your up and get to work. Plans don't change people. Action changes people. So make movement. Move forward every day of your life. If they make 10 sales, you make 20. If they work eight hours, you work 10. Whatever they do, I need you to do just a little more because when you add up all those extra bits of effort, day after day after day, that's gonna make the difference between winning and losing. When others start slacking off, making excuses, you see a golden opportunity. It's your chance to double down, to push harder when everyone else is easing up. Every setback, every obstacle is a chance to show what you're made of. It's a chance to toughen up, to hone your skills, to rise above the bullshit. You might not control the raw talent, but you sure as hell control the effort. It's about grinding harder, pushing further, sweating more. It's about turning every damn ounce of your being into a relentless pursuit of excellence. You become the nightmare of everyone in your field because while they're resting on their laurels, you're out there, grinding, improving, outworking every single one of them. You don't just aim to keep up. You aim to leave them all in dust. I dominate. When I die, you ain't gonna forget my name. I dominate this doggone thing. I dominate. Where I go, stuff happens. I dominate. If you gonna win, you just can't play this game because there are other teams that want to do exactly what you got to do. So what you got to do in practice is dominate in practice. Some of y'all, that's your problem. You think that you can dominate when the lights come on. If you can't dominate in practice, you can't dominate when the lights come on. I get up every morning at 3 o'clock. I dominate at 3 o'clock in the morning. I dominate when everybody sleep. I dominate at 4 in the morning, 6 in the morning. Why? Because y'all just getting up. I dominate in the dark. I dominate when nobody sees me. Because you just got to get there before the genius get there. They ain't waking up to eight. So if you get up at three, you ain't got to be smarter than them. You just got to be quicker than them. You just got to be faster than them. You just got to get to the spot before they get to the spots. You ain't got to be them. You ain't got to be on their level. You don't have to be as smart. You don't have to become them. You can stay you, but you got to get there before they get there if you're going to stay you. Are we the under this? Good. That's where legends rise. They overlook us, we overperform. They doubt us, we outdo. We keep moving, we keep pushing, unstoppable. Let's call our names right here and right now. I guarantee you, when I line up and they line up, I want what all other men want. But when the challenge hits, when the opposition hits, when the pain creeps in, when the uncertainty creeps in, when the cuts, when the scars, when the bruises come, I just want it a little bit more than they want it. And if you ain't got more heart than me, if you ain't been working harder than me, if you ain't sacrificed more than me, I'm gonna destroy you. And so that's how I conquer, and that's how nobody has ever beaten me yet. Like when you work for something, it gives you a different type of attachment to it. I need you to eat, sleep, breathe, dominate. We're not playing to the level of our competition no more. You're gonna look at film in a way they don't look at film. You're going to practice in the way they don't practice. Listening to coach, paying attention, being locked in and focused. Everything you do is going to be in a way that nobody else does. You can't win it if you can't see it. You got to see each one. You got to see yourself winning in practice. You got to see yourself winning the game. The championship, you got to see yourself. Wake up every single day. I was here before I was here. I was in this spot right here. I was talking for right here. I envisioned it. I saw it already. I'll see it before it happens. 
Discipline means that you dominate when you feel like it and you dominate when you don't feel like it. What do you do when somebody's not there watching you? What do you do when you have to either do what it is you know you're supposed to do without somebody there to supervise you or you get to take the playoff because no one's going to know the difference? Those are the things that make up success and that's discipline. You have to do the things that you don't feel like doing because you know it needs to be done. You train hard, push limits, you learn every single day. That's our backbone. That's our hustle. This is our turn, our unwavering will. Every tackle, every move is for something bigger. Discipline is you do it so long and so hard and you're so passionate about it that even when you don't feel like it, you still operate at the highest level. Embrace the process, trust the process, but most importantly, you gotta respect the process. Talent would never supersede it. If we respect it the way we say we respect it, if we love it the way we say we love it, if we cherish it the way we say we cherish it, every single day should be nothing less than excellence. You might not always be your best, but you can always bring me your best. It's about outworking, outlasting, and outperforming. Not just others, but your past self. It's about the relentless pursuit of excellence, the unyielding discipline, and the unstoppable force of taking action every single day.